Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours, where everything happens a la Mala style. If you're curious about what the recipe is today, guess what? You're gonna have to stick around and wait to the end. Watch the video to the end. Good afternoon foodies, this is Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours and today we have a nice little lineup here. We're going to make guacamole. We've got two guacamoles, <laughs> two guacamoles, <laughs> two avocados, two hot peppers. Of course I should probably use hibernero but I don't have them so I'm going to use some red peppers in here. Got some tomatoes and I've got a half of a red onion lime, fresh lime, and some cilantro. And of course, we're gonna put some cumin in there, some black pepper, and we're gonna use some kosher salt. Now, I know for you avocado enthusiasts, you're probably going to say to me, tomatoes, no way. But guess what? It's the Alamala show. So today, we're gonna put tomatoes inside. So let's get ready to get started. Pretty. So we're gonna get started with an avocado. So I just wanna show you, some people don't know what to do with this. So you take a knife, of course I've already cut both of them, but I'll just show you for demonstration purposes. Slide it straight down the top. As soon as you hit the seed, you just gently spin the avocado. As you spin it, there you go, you can still feel it. And you're going to come to a stop at exactly where you started. Now with that, you've cut through the avocado. This is what you do and ta-da, give it a little twist and there you go. See, we've got the avocado, then you do this, give it a little twist and you got a seed out. And let's try the other one, just like that. Of course, I've pre-cut it, as you can see. Give it a little twist and there we go, ta-da. Get the seed out, there we go. And we'll get that out of there. Now, next what I'm gonna do is I've got a smaller paring knife here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna score this this way. Cut down in a horizontal and then a vertical way. I'm gonna create basically like a hatch mark or a hatch pattern like this. So I've got like this. I'm gonna take a spoon, start from the top. And I am going to go all the way to the bottom of the skin and scoop. So as I scoop, this is what I get, little cubes. And that's precisely what we want. We want to get all that goodness out, all that avocado out. Let's do the same thing with the next piece. Cross, cross, cross. And then again, two, three, and another one. Take a spoon, scoop, and we got our avocado out. Get that little piece out from there. We don't need that. Do the other one. Cut, cut, cut. Now I don't need to tell you, but I'm still gonna tell you anyway. When you're using a knife, please be careful because you're not cutting through the skin, you're just cutting down to the skin. And be gentle as you're scooping. You don't want to bruise the brush. There we go. Let's do the last one. Oh, this looks yummy. Really yummy. There we go. Again, and again, and again. Take the knife, start from the top, scoop, and there you have it. All yummy avocado. So now we've got our avocado cubes out and ready. And now we're gonna get started on the next portion. So, for this, I'll move that out of the way. I'm gonna start with the red onion, okay? Put that down. I'm gonna get this nicely diced up. And we want little, tiny, cubed pieces, okay? So we're gonna get this nicely chopped up. And of course, please, please, please be careful, be careful. I cannot stress that enough. 
how careful you have to be using your kitchen tools. So we've got the onions. And what we're going to do is we're going to scoop it right in. We take this, scoop it right into our bowl. There we go. I've got some cilantro here. And of course, cilantro is very important in putting together your guacamole. Let me tell you, it makes all the difference in the world. I'm gonna keep it nice like that. I'm gonna get rid of most of those stems. Let's pull these apart a little. There we go. Because we're gonna give these a rough chop. So we don't need all of the stems in there. Little tiny bits, the young pieces, those are fine. But we're gonna get that in. And there we go. Perfect. Give these a quick little rough chop. Now you don't need to completely mince them because that's not what we want to do because we don't want these beautiful leaves and the, of the herbs all food stuff. Just going to toss that in. And of course, that's just barely about a quarter cup. And I'm using two very small pots avocados. I've got over here a fresh pie. And give this a nice little roll just to soften that up a bit. There we go. And before I get the juice of the lime, I am gonna zest it. Now this here, we don't normally put in a guacamole, but hey, it's the Alamango show. So we're gonna do that. So we're not gonna put a lot, but we're just gonna put enough to give it a little bit of a nice, fresh zest. Now, of course, when you're zesting, you need to be ultra careful because you want to protect your knuckles and you want to keep all that skin you were born with because this can put a mighty, mighty big hurt on you. I think we've got about enough here that I'm happy with. Yep. There we go. We've got all that nice, good stuff in there. I'm gonna give this a little quick cut. And I'm gonna get my healthy little squeezer. There we go. Pop these babies in. Give them a nice little squeeze. Ooh, yeah. That's a nice, good looking line there. We're going to put the other half in. Now it's important when you use this, you also have to be careful. Now the first thing, one of the mistakes I made when I used this was I put it the other way. I put it upside down and of course then I wondered why I did not get any juices out. So put it upside down and you get all the juices out. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these little grape tomatoes into small pieces. I'm gonna rinse them out and get rid of all of the seeds. Okay, so I've chopped up those little grape tomatoes. I'm rinsing them out. Giving them a good little juice. And you wanna make sure you get rid of all of those seeds. And then we're gonna put them into our guacamole. So we can get these squeezed out, get all the moisture out of it, and we're gonna get them, get all those seeds out. There we go. And we're just gonna let this drain just a little bit. There we go. There we go, we've gotten rid of that. Seeds are out. Yep. And I have sliced up those tomatoes, gave them a good little rinse as we can see before. Got out those seeds, took out the moisture from them, and in to this little bowl of happiness that goes. We've got that, and as you can see over here, I've sliced up those hot peppers that I had previously. Let's give you a nice little look. So we've got the hot peppers. 
we have got the chopped up cilantro. We've got some lime zest as you can see all the way up on top there. Yep, lime juice is already in. The red onions, tomatoes, and of course, star of the show, the avocado. Now, what we're gonna do is we are going to mix these babies up. But right before that, we're gonna start adding some spices. So let's get ready. Usually I add about a quarter of a teaspoon of cumin. That would be cumin. But I'm just gonna be sprinkling in here a bit here. I'm just gonna eyeball a little bit. So I like cumin in my block. And of course, trusty black pepper powder. Give a nice little sprinkling of that as well. And for measurement, probably about a quarter of a spoon. And today we're going to be using kosher salt. Now this makes all the difference when you're making a guacamole rather than regular salt. It just tastes better. And this, of course, you're doing salt to taste. And I'm putting just about a quarter of a teaspoon as well. Now it's time to get these babies all mixed up. Give them a nice little mash. First, let's mix all of these in together like that. It smells fresh. It smells really amazing. I have to say that. And we're just going to give them a quick little mash. There we go. Get those flavors blending together. And let me tell you, there's nothing better than really fresh avocado. So many times I would honestly have this for breakfast. I would make this, my guacamole, and put it on a piece of toast. Let me tell you, an avocado toast or an avocado sammy, whatever you want to call it, it is to die for. It is an amazing pick-me-up sammy. It's satisfying, it's very filling, and not only that, it's super healthy for you. Now, I do not like a super mushy avocado. So usually the kind of avocado I would pick is not a super ripe one. So something that is still a little firm, but not too firm. It's got, got to have that right consistency. And when I'm mashing it, I don't want it to be all mushy either. So I like more of a chunky avocado. So there are a couple of pieces in which you'll see that I'm deliberately keeping and not mashing so that it is more of a chunky style. Now, this is the way I like my guacamole to look. I don't like a mushy guacamole at all. Now, it looks pretty. It does look very pretty. There you go. How's that look? Not bad, huh? Not bad at all. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Now, to make it even prettier, we're going to put it in a nicer bowl. Take it from here and we're going to scoop it nicely into this bowl. There we go. And this, of course, is for staging purposes. <laughs> there we go. Got that in there. That looks so nice. So pretty. Here. There we go. Don't want to lose any of all any of that goodness. So let's scoop that all into the bowl. There we go. Yes. Absolutely beautiful. Now, of course, I have avocado without a lovely, pretty garnish. So I've got tomato here. Of course. I'm going to slice that in half. And I'm simply going to place these up on top like that, make it look nice and pretty. We've got a little piece of that cilantro, which we're going to stick right in because, of course, I don't know about you guys, and I'm sure you do though, but you eat with your eyes first. So if it looks pretty, you'll at least want to try it. And there you have it. Guacamole. A la mama style. Take a look at that. Yeah, baby. That looks amazing, doesn't it look amazing? There we go. How beautiful does she look? Mmm, -mm, goodness. Thank you for watching. This is Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours. Happy cooking, y'all. Remember, the 
don't forget to give us a like, give us a follow, give us a really nice good thumbs up, and recommend this to all your friends and family. Thank you for watching. Food is life. Food is the spice of life. Take care. Bye. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours. Feel free to look me up on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And I sure hope you really like this video and I hope you try the recipes, okay? Thank you.